Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you the projects that we were working on in the past two weeks. Uh, some progress that we made, especially on the HTube and uh, on improving of the NixieTube technology in general. Here you can see how we are making a chuck for holding the HTube glass envelope during sealing of the front window. The construction of this chuck allows us to insert and extract the tube after sealing easily and it is also constructed the way that we can have a purgin gas flowing through the whole chuck and through the glass envelope. Uh, this purgin gas is here to protect the internal stainless steel elements from oxidizing by the, by the heat. The chuck is designed as a collet, so the internal collet is made of Teflon. Uh, it's nice material that is resistant to heat and because it's soft there is no risk that it would damage the glass. To cut the slits and the collet we designed a tool to be 3D printed from plastic. The collet will be put onto that tool, onto that holder and we will be able to cut the slits with a slitting saw. We got a bunch of new equipment for the glass slate and one of the new things is this nine nozzle burner. The nozzles are laid out in arc and it should make the heating of the edge faster. And this is important because the faster is this process, the shorter is the time that the oxygen has to attack the internal elements. So in the end the digits and the anode grid should not be oxidized. Here I'm testing it with empty envelope and uh, the reason for this is to be able to see 
later on polariscope the stress in the glass because if you don't have the internal elements inside it's easier to see it. So what is important, uh, all three tubes survived, not a single, not a single tube cracked and uh, all the seals are made really, really nice, uniform, so that's great, the new burners definitely work and now we need to check it on the polariscope. You can see the sharp change in the colors here, this means that the stress here is quite significant. Uh, so we need to observe the tube if it is able to crack at this level of stress because the tube can contain some stress but still it can it can hold up. You can see that the front window is quite clear. There is no stress, no, no border. But here the change between the colors is sharp. So there is stress in the side of the glass as well. Another project we are working on is a system that will help us to analyze composition of the gas in the Nixie tubes. Uh, we completed the main ultra high vacuum chamber. The progress was slowed down by uh, the fact that we didn't have a reliable tubo controller because the original ones are very difficult to get and uh, even we have few of them, uh, they tend to fail quite often. So we decided to develop our own. Uh, the foundations for this turbo controller were laid out by Michal Dvořáček, a friend who helped us with electronics and then it was uh, pushed to higher level of reliability by Radim who is our in-house uh, electronics engineer part-time. So now finally we are able to do the first pump down and I'm curious what level of vacuum we can, we can reach. The first attempt to pump down the system went very well. We got to 10 to minus 8 already. So the first problem is in the way how our turbo controller 
uh, regulates the speed of the turbo pump. You can see that it's oscillating around certain frequency, which makes the turbo run faster and slower. And as a result, we have higher and lower amount of gases in the chamber, especially hydrogen, which is really difficult to pump. So another part of the system that we want to test is the connection of the Nixie tube to the system itself. So the plan is like this. This is the glass wall of the Nixie tube. Here we have the gas that we want to test. Here is a tubing, glass tubing that goes from the system. Uh, it will be glued here with a tor seal, which is a glue um, which doesn't spoil vacuum. It, it's, it, it doesn't release vapors into the vacuum. Before gluing we will drill here a hole uh, to half depth of the glass and here will be a steel hammer and this hammer will be lifted up by the magnet and then it will be dropped down and it will cut through this through this piece like this will be open and because here will be already the high vacuum like ultra high vacuum going to the chamber, the gas from here will start flowing here to the chamber for the analysis. So now we want to prepare the whole thing and the next week we will test dropping the, the hammer. Oh. 